There's no safer place than Sweden, Bay said. The mythical lawnmower campaign. That's a photograph. Yeah. I mean, that's, a, that's a real photograph that they like blurred or something, and then they slapped in. Okay, neat. But the mythical like lawnmower just campaign. Filters on it. Yeah, filters. The campaign with the lawnmower in it. I walked in on you guys playing a game, and you guys were bitching and moaning about a lawnmower, and I've wanted to play this ever since, and it's been months, and we finally found it again. I'm so yeah. excited. Yeah, we couldn't remember what it was for the longest time. Yeah, I just went to the Steam Workshop, and I searched Sweden lawnmower, and <laughs> those two keywords were enough to get it, because how many Left 4 Dead campaigns take place in Sweden and have a lawnmower? Not many. See, I didn't even remember that it took place in Sweden, though. Yes, yeah, same I here. Just... The only thing I remembered about this campaign was the lawnmower. You just walk out. Just oh, going. I didn't realize that was open. Reloading. Yeah. I will say that, based off the workshop pictures, is this looks like a very pretty campaign. I think you might be overdoing it with the color filters on the lights. I did see that. Oh, it sweet. Seem... Custom melee weapons. Oh, that's what the, oh, that's what I was thinking of. This is the uh, campaign with the custom melee weapon, yeah. Hell yeah. I, I love picks. I think it's really weird that they included a pitchfork in the last stand update, but they didn't add like a mattock or a pickaxe or something. Pitchfork is just yeah. a really bizarre choice. Let's get up that ladder. Yeah. Oh, I... hey, uh, over here. Weapons. Uh, there's only one. Dang. Oh, oh, two stuff now. now, slamming a pickaxe into a jockey would be a lot more fun than a pitchfork. Oh, damn. Oh, jeez. F-18's a fighter jet, right? Or am yeah. I just thinking F-16 and F-35? Surely there's no other ones in between those, right? Yeah, there is an F. I don't think that's what hey, this F eighteen is, though. Uh, smack this, smack this crate for me. Huh? My God, it's indestructible. A oh, horrible. It's it's really disconcerting. I don't like it. It's a living nightmare. Hey, check it out. A trashed safe room. My favorite. <laughs> I've never seen one of these before. Hey, this guy really is overdoing it with the lighting filters and the HDR. Yeah, I I don't think I've seen a campaign that went this hard on the light filters outside of Back to School. And that's honestly like the only negative thing I have to say about Back to School. Why on earth did that charger not just absolutely waste your ass? I got throwables down there. Oh, I know, that's... I think kills? Shotgun. Reloading. We all have guns, you can take it. Oh no, I already got one. Reloading. Oh. I just didn't say anything about it. I didn't need you getting jealous. Because I have my Dixie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thought you were taking right, a shortcut, I... huh? I'm remembering some of this geometry and this nonsense staircase. I think that happened to me the first time, too. Yeah. Like, it makes it no physical sense. Like, why? Oh. Like, you just kind of think that, oh, there's going to be, you know, stairs on both sides. Yeah. Oh, oh like, no, this is the one you guys were talking about on I Hate Mountains that had breakable melee weapons. Because That the... is the... Okay, yes. Yeah. Now you're making me nervous, too, because it didn't have, like, a meter or anything on it. It just disappeared. I but on the other hand, free pistol. Wow. Yeah, that staircase, the, some of the geometry here is a little bit funky. Lighting is extreme. I mean, we're obviously in some kind of bizarre, like, video game only territory that is entirely parking garages also. and geometric hallways. But I can explain, I can get used to that. I've been putting up with that since, I don't know, Unreal Tournament. I'm trying to think about when I played my first first-person shooter. Yeah, uh, Left 4 Dead. It's basically a doorway to the train station dimension. Sorry, the train yard <laughs> dimension. The train yard and brick factory dimension. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was that was something that you oh. mentioned. I don't think it's on any of these videos, but you thought it was hilarious that ever since the last stand, every single factory in any custom campaign is now a brick factory. Uh, it was since it was in since the sacrifice, wasn't it? Oh yeah, you're right. My bad. I was I forgot the name. It was, it was the one where Bill fucking dies. Whoa! Spoilers. I don't feel like fighting these zombies. I what is a... this? I'm, I'm holding something weird. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Hang on, let me see. Oh, oh okay. Was it like a goodie pack? Alright, yeah, that's what it did. It replaced my secondary weapon for some reason? You remember that time Steven Spielberg killed the last Triceratops? It was worth it for the film. I think oh, it was man, funny. I think I think killing rhinoceri is funny. Oh, and what is a triceratops? It's not just a triple rhinoceros. A trinoceros, if you oh, will. Oh god. But yeah, I just went to the liquor store the other day because there was a sale on bourbons, and there was a pigeon sitting on the ground. And so I walked over to it, and it starts to get up and walk away, and I just reach down and grab it. <laughs> and I just pick up a pigeon, and I took a picture of it, too. I can show you guys. <laughs> that sounds fun. Did you release it in the GameStop to get a free copy of uh, Fantasy Star Universe? I, I sincerely considered just carrying it into the liquor store with me, and just holding <laughs> a pigeon. That would be a powerful negotiating device. Because there was, there was two pigeons, actually, and I walk over, and the first one flies away when I get really close. But it... Oh, is this the weird goodie bag you were talking about? Yeah. Item bag. Sucks. Okay, it, it exploded into equipment. I see. That's kind of neat. Is that a crescendo? I think so. No, we just push a button and have to wait. But yeah, the first so pigeon flew away, the second one didn't. With. So I picked it up, I it carried it around for a minute, I took a picture of it, and then I put it back. Reloading. Oh, okay, now. I didn't now. actually hear the audio until I left. Yeah. Nice final bomb. I didn't feel like dealing with them either. Except for this one. <laughs> well, they're coming with yeah. us. Yeah, two of them were. Get inside, no. Hey, safe out here. Grenade! Oh. You absolutely positively have to light the world on fire. That was a pretty tolerable first level. A little square, but... Not bad. It started to get a little bit bland inside the parking garage thing because it just yeah. went on a little bit too long and it felt repetitive because there's parking garage or staircase or parking garage or staircase it also like didn't feel like a real parking garage and so the the environment didn't feel either like a well-designed type video game level or like a real place and so it's just tedious to go through it yeah, we went up and down so many staircases and levels, I swear that parking garage was like 10 stories high. Which I guess is normal, now that I think about it, because I, I don't think about that very often, but there are like 8-story parking garages. But... Oh, wait, listen to that music. Hey, Beryl, you yeah, can heal yourself. Some music. And okay. back out into the dark. One second, I just got a message from. Sweet. Weapons over here. Pistol here. Another pistol here. <laughs> what is this fucking music? You hear that snare drum, right? Is that what that was? Yes. I'm hearing a little bit. Yeah, a little bit like. <laughs> That, that fucking obnoxious noise from like 2005. Nice shot. Truly the most impressive MIDI file. Speaking of old stuff, uh, oh, well, not old stuff, but chainsaw. 
Um, I was, uh, well, I, I found some old artwork recently, which I really enjoyed. Oh, item box. Pills. Now, when you say artwork, it usually means something slightly different than we say it. Yes. Would you, would you care to elaborate? Uh, I will post it as a spray. I will adjust my spray. It's just like a, a very particular kind of old artwork. Oh no! The combination of the jockey saying Bazinga and all the snare drum just goes off is really something. Yeah. I'm heading out with Khan. Yes. Oh, right, we go through there. Okay. Uh, alarmed car. Decent enough. I guess location. we have to go over it. No, we can walk around it. I mean, if you have the skills. Which I apparently did. I'm surprised. Sweet. That, that means you can pay the bills. No, fuck that. I don't want to do that. Nobody wants to pay the bills. That's true. Speaking but of... paying bills is probably too... I finished reading Catch-22 earlier this week. I had originally bought it way back in high school so I could pretend to read it for an assignment. I'm sort of glad I didn't read it back then. I don't think I would have got it as much. You know? Right. Oh no. What, what is this? I stick a firework dumb bum. It's a secondary. He's replaced my pistol. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's a it's a satire. It takes place in World War II. It's about a bunch of pilots. There was one character I think you would really like, Khan, because he's he is full blown like Lalberg and Cap poster from 1940s. If if the book was made like after 2016, I think he would have made a passing reference to the McNuke at least once. <laughs> His, oh dear. One of, one of the things he does is that he becomes a mess officer, and so he starts selling the food, and he figures out where to get the food. And so he basically says, okay, I can get you really good food. All you have to do is give me a plane and a pilot who will do whatever I tell him to. And he does this at every mess hall in the entire Mediterranean theater. And he winds up making an extremely uh, profitable syndicate. He owns a ton of fighter planes and pilots. And so he starts getting contracted by like the American government and even the German government to engage in wartime activities. And there's several points throughout the story where he says that he thinks war should be a private business and that government doesn't belong in war. And so, at one point, he's contracted to bomb an area in a sneak attack by the American government and also defend it with the artillery by the German government. So he reports his own <laughs> sneak attack to his own men. So, and he's just fighting both sides of the same battle and makes a ton of money off of it. And then later, the Germans contract him to bomb his own squadron. So he takes off from the landing strip and just starts bombing it. It upset a lot of the people he worked with, but he was extremely successful at everything he did, so they were unable to reprimand him in any meaningful way. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and take this break. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to keep the dumb bomb. I haven't used it yet. What does the dumb bomb do? Oh yeah, this guy seems like a cool guy. What the hell is that doing? Oh no. I'm just I'm throwing it firecrackers? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think she started stumbling only after I shot her. Oh no, you fool. Thanks though. That could have been a lot messier. I was also forced to upgrade my cell phone, finally. I'm no longer 3G, I'm now 4G. Adrenaline. That's unfortunate. Lots That's of a nice kit. Yeah, I now have a flip phone, so I've upgraded from 2009 to 2008. But the flip phone has Wi-Fi. We're supposed to go through here, somehow? The van. There's another There's van. Van. Oh, oh, okay, it's a dead air van. I didn't realize that. I don't think I ever saw the pop-up. 
Oh, I was seeing it constantly. I didn't see the pop up, but I saw the wheel highlighted. Ah. I was telling Khan that this map was made in like 2018 and updated in 2019. Can't get over that he was using this music like post 2005. I do remember this part of the campaign now. Oh yeah. Is this some sort of gauntlet? Oh, okay. Also another gas station. And I was looking at the door and I thought this was just a set piece, but I guess we do get to walk over here. Oh boy, speaking of train yards. Is that a is that a safe room train car? Man, this tank's gonna have a miserable time. I'm sure there is. <laughs> he can't reach me. That was the most pitiable tank I think I've seen in a long ass time. So yeah, I don't think he's able to fit through the uh, two train cars. Oh, Bob's over here. And, uh, I think he yeah, and he just doesn't know how to. <laughs> and, uh, I don't think he could climb over the trains, train car as well. Uh, you got the firecrackers? Yeah. I probably have to censor that word. We can't go around saying cracker that much. That's fine. You can't but be I'm... racist against white people. But I love saltines. Oh yeah? I bet you would like all that vegetable oil, wouldn't you? Well, on occasion. Ah, piss. Rip. I need some help! Well, don't shoot me, jackass. I'm fine with it, though. Does it count as a subway if it's above ground? Isn't that Kinda? just called, like, a metro? Actually, no. I thought it was just called a train. I think it stops being called a, called a train when it goes underground. Oh no, when it's above ground, I, think, I believe they call it a light rail system. Ooh! I suppose that may be true. My city actually has a train system that's above ground and they call it a light rail system. Hang on, I want to test something. Reloading. Okay. Okay, no. Were you thinking you could stumble her if you're still thin, maybe? Yeah. And it does not. Somehow I unequipped my gun? What? Which one? Hey, man, no problem. My primary. Like, I, I didn't have anything equipped. Oh, that's weird. Maybe you just... I don't know. Like, the reticle changed, and, like, I couldn't fire my gun. Oh, there's a med kit around the back. Restock. Oh, I also got to see a VTOL this week. There's like an air show in town. Cool. So I was uh, looking out the window of the office, just waiting for a job to come through. And I, I see a, an Osprey all the way out past the fence on the, on a, on the tarmac. You know, it's actually funny. I saw an Osprey like last week. Yeah, I, I think they're they're pouring right now because then I was telling my dad about. It. He's like, I think the Blue Angels just flew overhead earlier because there there is an air show in town. And so I was, I was looking at the uh, the VTOL, the Osprey, when. Oh help! All right, but then a, then a job about... does come through, and so I just go on and do that. And then some other guy who just shows up for work who wasn't even there 15 minutes ago when we finished the job. And he looks and he's like, hey, look at that. And we see the Osprey is now sliding onto the, the Atlantic Strip at like a comfortable, comfortable seven miles an hour. I think we go out this door. No. And then he sort of, like the landing gear, you see it shift a bit as he hovers up like a foot. And then he pops back down. And then he rotates the blades and it starts making a hell of a lot of noise. And the thing just takes off and flies away. And I've never seen that before, so that was me. What's with this car? I don't know. I really sincerely don't know what's up with that it's just car. Embedded in the ground? 
Also, I'm really having trouble moving through this this little cave here. Yeah. I think that's just also, you. Dead. What? what? What the hell is this? Why is there dirt on the ceiling inside of a construction? I think I may remember. I think I may remember something about <laughs> the environments just ahead of us that it sort of explains that. In the mines slash forest. Yes. Oh, I hear the custom music you were talking about now. Got a, a lot of electronic beeps and bloops. It's more like just a clicking noise. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you took the regular music and you just added this clicking sound. Kind of makes you wish you had tinnitus. I don't think anything makes me wish for that. But anyway, this is the picture I was talking about. There's something about... This is from 2002, I think, or 2003. So it just gives you homely and nostalgic feelings? Basically, yeah. This used to... This used to be what the internet was like when you went outside of a... Uh, like outside of a curated website. There's just people posting that kind of art. Come here. Why don't you look at the lighting on this on this uh, light? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. <laughs> That's but hmm. Thanks, so much. Yeah. That. <laughs> There's. I'm assuming the light source is placed above the light. Yeah. Picture. Oh my god. Fuck really? off. Really? Okay, no, never mind. I was not uh I was thinking of some other campaign. Ah, okay, yeah. Oh, the flare gun. Here's the flare gun. This ah, is work. this Don't shoot the car. This is the one I was talking I was oh, thinking no, about. Oh no, the bumper car. Yes, oh my god. Oh god, I remember this. Oh. Yeah, I do. Now we're beginning to enter the portions of the campaigns where you guys had some words. Where? Am I physically stuck? Yeah, I can't fucking move. I, I was getting like... Oh, thank you, Smoker. Yeah, I was, I was getting like jammed underneath of the bumper car. Yeah, I would just stay away from the... The bumper cars will re-alarm infinitely, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I literally can't move because there's zombies constantly raining on my head. It's very nice of them to give us more tier ones in case we ran out of ammo. Well, I ran low, so I felt like taking a tier one. Yeah. He he's certainly making use of the ammo that we do have. Yeah. But uh, yeah, okay. This this is the environment that I thought it was. I hoped it wasn't. Yeah, I had forgotten about this part. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking gotcha. <laughs> Leveled that Interesting charge. trade. Did you shoot a flare? <laughs> yeah, these are all flares. Okay, and, and it creates here. a light source? Yeah, it creates a light source. That's interesting, but I... don't think it works uh, very well. Oh, there's a smoker behind us. Oh, laser sights. Please, smoker. Thank you. Oh, lasers. Yep, next to, laser the, next to the bumper cars. Scout. Laser sighted AK. I am officially a god. Laser sighted scout. Hell yeah. I wish I still had. Don't touch any of the bumper cars. I wish I still had my AK. Well, you can get a scar if you're into that crap. Yeah, I'll take a scar over this. I, I don't really have any ammo for the one I have right now. There's supposed to be a witch somewhere, but... Yeah, there's one allegedly somewhere. Okay, she's done. You know, the floppy AK is really uncomfortable right now. I yeah, just I can't see done. anything. And defib. Do a few flares around. Or forward, I mean. 
players you say? I want to use one. Oh, I guess you don't have any footage of them, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to use one at least once, and I just broke my pickaxe. It made a, it made a really nasty crunching noise. Like somebody biting a potato chip. Oh, hey, Fallen Survivor. Oh, hey, Smoker. Oh, hey, Flare Gun. Got him. I was a health kit. Still left over. Okay. So it, it creates a flare projectile and eventually hits the ground and makes a light source. Yes. How much ammo does it get? Like five? Four shots, I think. Okay. Because I think I used three. I'm putting in San Diego ammo yeah, down. Four. We can go. Fucking zombies is just one of the ways forward. Uh, where I am. Oh, I didn't even know there was a door over here. It's so damn dark. Oh, and those uh, firecrackers. The firecrackers were neat, but I don't think I'm too worried about using them again. Actually, I take that back. I'm gonna do it. Do we go back? Yeah, if you the don't caves? show it off, we will. Then you already do it. I guess I did. I don't remember. Well, now that you know what they do, you'll be unstoppable. Yes, they, they certainly do something. Man, what are these tunnels? Mine slash forest. Oh yeah, we haven't even reached the forest yet. No, see, we're getting close to the forest, as you can tell, by as, the and there's foliage growing underground, uh, yeah. where there's literally no light. Totally a normal thing. It could happen to you. <laughs> I'm gonna hit me. Get up now, come on. Zoe, you really out of heal. I'm gonna take the magnum. Okay. Yeah, so I think this is this is uh as you remember correctly, around the time that we started getting really annoyed because this chapter is just really long and not that interesting. Yeah. Very dark. And, like it uses a lot of gimmicks, and most of the gimmicks are bad. Yeah. Oh dear. I don't even think I've seen all the gimmicks yet. So are the explosions killing anything? Fuck me. Because it's not. I don't think it's distracting the zombies. I'm not sure it's even hurting them. I think it's meant to be like a portable series of explosions, like a like portable uh, propane tanks. Well, the thing is, I think it did make the witch stumble because I shot her, and then she started stumbling, and I wasn't. Like, I didn't headshot with a rifle, I don't believe. But it only made her stumble after she was already enraged. So, it might be that it just stumbles specials? Seems like a pretty narrow thing. Yeah. Seems like a... Uh, are you talking about the, uh, flare gun? Yeah, it stumbled me. Yeah, it stumbled me. No, the firecrackers. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, I was just thinking about the flare gun from uh, Time Slayer's Future Perfect. If you haven't played that game, you should. It's very good. But, yeah, it's great. You get a flare gun, and you can just light people on fire with it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I was thinking about the scorch shot in Team Fortress 2 and how it bounces people around when you hit them with it. <laughs> I had a friend where what he'd do is he would play 24-7 uh, 2 Fort, and he would just grab the scorch shot, and he would pop a sniper on the enemy side with it. Because it would also, uh, when it hit the ground, it would burst into flames and ignite people near it. So all oh, he good. would... <laughs> Where'd uh, you go, Charger? So all he would do is he would just light snipers on fire and bounce them around. And he would never kill them, because once they got hit, is they would just, um, you know, go back to the, uh, the spawn and heal up. But he would just yeah. annoy them like that for minutes on end, and he thought it was the best thing ever. Personally, my favorite thing to do was to play as the Sydney Sleeper and get a Vaccinator Medic so you can't be killed by the sniper rifle. And then just just body shot people with the PP gun all day. 
It was a two man, uh, a two man operation. operation. Yeah. But oh boy, was it great. Safe room. Uh, there's med kits here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come out and get one. Oh, there's, there's, one? there's nothing inside this safe room. I don't want to say clever, but it's, it seems like a gimmick of some sort to me. Yeah, he's played around with the safe rooms a little bit. Which I like. Brim, are you excited? You're about to see it. You're about oh to my... see it happen. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's chapter 5. I'm pretty sure it's chapter 5. I think it's chapter 4. Because of the... Oh, uh, God, are we... I think it was the shooting range. Are we on... Are we not on chapter 5 yet? No, no oh, we're God. on chapter 4. Oh no, I thought we were in chapter 5. can't five. see a goddamn thing. I really don't like this. Yeah, it's not a great campaign. Yeah. From tolerable to terrible. And just five short, four short maps. Three short maps, even. Yeah. I don't know if I would describe the last one as short. I, I wouldn't say it was too terribly long, but I wouldn't call it short. You, you wouldn't say that it was too terribly long. It was longer would... than it needed to be, but we've Watch definitely it. played worse. Like, longer, just arduous maps. Wait till we get around to, uh, what was it? Bai Mountain? The 12-part Chinese map? Which I have. Well, Assuming parts. that we ever got around to it. I, I didn't even think 12 was, like, possible. I think it was something like 12. I might just be wrong. I thought... I, I I had a hunch that the engine stopped at 10. But I could be well, wrong. Well, maybe no one but the Chinese have tried yet. Damn, watch yourself. There's still a med kit here. You know what? I'm taking the Magnum. Give the gear. Yeah. No, give me the Magnum. Jesus. Fuck you. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's go. It was nice of him to light the roadway like this. Even though it could very clearly use more um safety rails. Hey, do you see those silhouettes like off on the right side? See what? Oh, was, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Like a specter like how, appearing in the night. You know what it's like gonna be. I like how blindingly mean. dark it is, despite the moon being just blazing bright. Oh yeah, it, yeah. it looks like it's five a.m. outside, like six a.m. Yeah. This is a nice, like morning sunrise. Check that house for supplies. <laughs> that, oh, that, survivor. Oh, oh gosh. That musical sting didn't fill me with positive emotions. It, it's, a, it's a looming sense of dread. You know, I don't need that pipe bomb that badly. Oh, found the witch. She's in the uh, building here. Oh, no deep fib here. Molotov's over here. Molotov and health kit. You can heal for it. We're not going to come back this way. I'm, I'm not that worried about it. Okay. Never mind. Fuck off. This is defib and unlimited Molotovs in here. Oh, is that the door? Well, we're making the witch mad. Oh, she's right above yeah, she's there. Up oh, she's up with the gas can. I actually don't think this is a bad area. Uh-huh. Here she comes. Or... Uh... I, I hit her. She screamed. Yeah, I heard her scream, but she's not doing anything. I think she's stuck. Yeah, she's just, um, freaking out. Oh, we gotta get the gas cans. The pipe bomb explosion doesn't light gas cans on fire. Oh. Right, though. It'll knock them around, but it won't destroy them. Well, I want to say I like the chicken coop shed a little bit. 
Yeah, I like this environment. It, yeah, it is a fun little environment. I, I just wish it had vehicle. lighting. I wish yeah. it was a little bit bigger because it's really cramped and awkward to move through. Yeah. I th I think it being cramped is fine, but it needs to be lit up so that you can see what you're bumping into. I think, oh man, I see another gas can oh. all the way over there, I think. Yeah. Where'd my defense go? It's a good question. Got it. Oh, all right. All right, so we have four gas cans that we now need to, to juggle. Twitters are ludicrously you want the lawnmower to clear a path? Random event, something or other. Got it. Got it. So this is the yep. mythical lawnmower. This is the famous lawnmower. Random event, every gas can? Does it mean a crescendo? Here's, I'm going to go ahead and get it. No, you want to see Make the... sure you have, right, to watch right. the, you have to watch the lawnmower. Like, you have to show them what we're doing here. This is amazing. And so... I, I need it to cut the grass before it can walk in it. Yes. Yes. And, and we can't dump in all the gas cans at once. Yes. We have to wait until it stops again. Yeah. Speaking of, it did. It stopped on a... a place, if you guys want me. Oh no, now there's a tank. Alright. Did the oh, lawnmower is. turn? Okay. It turned 90 degrees. You missed it, sadly. I, I'm having difficulty getting near it because the grass is in the way. Yeah. Look at that little lawnmower go. I'm gonna throw a pipe. It's not even on the ground at this point, it's oh, just hovering. Yeah. yeah. Listening to the snare drum while watching a lawnmower spin in midair. Why is it? Why did we even do this part of it? What a, what a I could not answer that question. Priv, I want you to imagine not realizing you had to bring all of the gas cans before getting here. Do we not even need to put more gas cans in it? Oh, no, this is a No, we do. This is a place to go get gas cans. One singular gas remember, can. Yes. Don't do it yet. You gotta wait for Fred to see it. And we're walking yeah, we through the boots. forest. And we're walking through the forest. And we're walking... Watch my back. Through the forest. Get there one day. You can imagine what it was like going into this blind. Well, I didn't have to. You guys were really fucking mad when you were at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's not so bad now that you know the bullshit that you're in for. Yeah. Because I gotta say that I, I don't think I'm furious about it. Maybe it's just because we're not getting, like, swamped or anything. But this is just so strange. It's like a modern art piece. Yeah, this campaign is a really bizarre experience, is what it is. There's a bunch of aspects of it that are slightly off, and one of them is that we have to gas up a lawnmower to cut the grass in a straight line. Also, I like the... Alright, we're using a environmental thing to cut down this line of grass, and then right here you have an even bigger line of grass you can just walk through. Yeah, and and it's the same yeah. grass. Oh, hey, a uh, special thing here. A special what? A goodie box. Uh, There's oh. pills there for you. Uh, two pills. Both for me. Oh boy, a tank. Another tank. Shut up, Zoe. How do you feel? I'm bleeding. You'll be okay. You're always bleeding. Thanks. I owe you. It's just a woman thing. That's only once a month. Right. Oh, another witch. Right. Have we had enough of this yet? Oh. No. Fuck you. Oh, we get to make a choice which way to go? Is that what this is? No. No. Oh. 
Maybe, I'm not sure. I hey, want to go through the grass. Why can't they get them? Fuck. Alright, there was a... There was a survivor zombie over there and just wasn't allowed to get to him. I'm curious about this electrical line. Oh, I guess it answers that question. Reloading. Oh, my core health kits. A, a bright oh, green. More supplies in here. Anyway. Meryl, did you push the button? Yes, I pushed the button. Oh. It's not entirely obvious what it did, but I did push the button. Well, it's connected to that power line. So if we follow yes. the power line to wherever that goes, now we get to go down the nice straight road. Yeah, I I sort of remember this now. I think the first time we did this, we went this direction first. Because there's, stupid. you know, there's the two sides. It's It means you've got a choice, right? That's the obvious way to go. Fucking guy. I will say that as tedious as this campaign or this chapter is, there have been a lot of supplies, so we're at least not starving. Right. Yeah. All these rocks. I remember these fucking rocks. Oh, I love the rocks. I love the rocks. Yeah, I don't love these rocks. I do love some rocks we see later. Don't tell me we need a code. I don't think we actually need a code. Oh, no, maybe we do. Where would, where would we even go? Yeah, you, you have to press zero, and then it exposes the next one. And then you gotta press that. You know, just sure. because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean that you should. Yeah, this is just silly. Oh wait, it's oh. 0297. It says it right there. Get off of me. Zero, two... Nine, seven. Ta-da! I'm so smart! Anyway, inside of here is a safe room <laughs> that I have to unlock. Very slowly. Is that it? Yes. Okay, get inside. Get in. Oh, don't leave me in. There we go. So that chapter also said. That was. It certainly did. I can't say I had fun, but I can't say I hated it. Well, that was the lawnmower. Did it live up to your expectations? I guess only a Swedish guy would think of that. That he has to mow the lawn in the middle of the woods. Maybe he's the target audience for lawn mowing simulator. I do know that the the Germans like their forklift simulators. I still think it's really interesting that I had... I've already told you guys, but it's just the... There was that one guy who who's from the like farming simulator company, and he was explaining in an interview just the business model. Stop touching me. And then he, he's going over how... Okay, so we have the, the normal version we put on PC, and we have the mobile version. We alternate these. Because the, I think all the even years are on PC, and all the odd years are the mobile one. And he talked about how the target demographic, or like the, the core demographic, people who buy uh, like farming simulator and trucking simulators, is that you have you have like eight year old boys, and you have men in their thirties plus who used to do this as a job, and that there's this huge gap, and that just the like the eighteen and twenty year old demographic is basically non-existent, so they don't even bother catering to them. He, he said something like, "quote They're too busy fragging noobs and cod or whatever." <laughs> well, if you ask me if I'd rather drive a forklift or frag a noob, then I would definitely rather frag a noob. Right. Like a but he'd said that since it's it's a delicate balance of making the controls simple enough that a child can play it, <laughs> but also not oversimplifying it to the point where it's no longer uh, got the simulator so aspect that the adult hey, we, demographic we've wants. Got... <laughs> we've got shoes. Shoes. What are you doing? Hang on, hang on. Let me see that. Get back here, Barrel. Are, are those your new Yeezys? Oh, Ow, prick! I'm just. This is where the shoes are. Where? I I need the shoes. Show me the shoes. Right here. Weapons. Weapon. What do I, what do I do with it? You click it and you run fast. You're right. 
But I'm actually going to hang on to this. This is going to be quite useful. Given it, it doesn't work with it. the model I have for you. I'm not, actually, I'm not actually sure it works with anybody's model. I think Zoe was running fine with it. I see a boomer over there. Oh, I see. It induces adrenaline speed for a short period. Do you think it's finite? It does not seem like it. He gave us exactly four of them, so I think the intention is that we use them. I missed this. I missed, uh, I did not see this the first time. Yeah. Campaign keeps on giving. I think it's really funny that you can see in the icon on the HUD that it says Adidas. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, how many tanks have we killed? I can't wait to see the... I hope the thing works. I hope the scoreboard works. There he goes. Thank goodness the smoker killed himself. Well, I see something glowing on the left I want to approach. Okay, it's, there's multiple ways in. Yeah. Guarded by flame. It's just like Dark Souls. I wonder what airplane this is based on. You've gone from a construction equipment to landscaping equipment guy to, a, to an airplane guy. I think that's a funny little character progression for you. <laughs> yeah, if you'd, if you'd contacted me six months ago, I might have been able to tell you exactly which lawnmower that was yeah. earlier in the campaign. <laughs> But now all of that's just been wiped from memory. I'm assuming that what wiped that from your memory, Frid, was that one month that you lost as when you were the liquor store guy. That's disgusting. I don't remember that. Well, of course you don't. I guess this is progression. Do I want to keep my shoe or trade it for a magnum? Check this out. I'm going to keep the shoe. Hello, this is the Hello. pilot in that C-130 back there. <laughs> I can fly you to the city. <laughs> but this plane is out of fuel and the runway is blocked with rocks. And you need to blow them up by using explosives on those piles of rocks. And when you are done, all you need is to hit the button back here to start fueling. Tell me when you're ready. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's, let's go bomb some rocks. Yep. Explosives here. They're still inside. Okay. That's what I was expecting, but I guess I'm. I guess I guess Barrel grabbed them all. Yeah, it, I think it's just that it makes them appear on the rocks. Right. Make sure to spam your shoe button so we can get there faster. Yeah. Hey, Friv. Yeah. Check it out. Just watch. Make sure you watch. Oh my. It's very important. Holy moly. You gotta be, hang on, uh Barrel, leave the last one. Leave the last one. I want Friv to do that one. Yeah. Because you really gotta get an up close look at this thing. You just put a box of bombs on top of it, and that's it. Yep. Also, it loses collision as soon as you put the bombs in, or the bomb on it. All right Don't now, now we need the... to go back and hit the fuel button. But I just realized that the Adidas icon on the HUD is solid black; it's not transparent. Now I think we go back to plane. Oh no, mm. there it is. It's down here. Yeah, yeah, it's down here. Yep. Button status pressed. It's time to wait. Oh, he's behind me. Oh, there are two of them. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a pipe. I 
Well, the good news is we can obviously start running the tank if we need to. Uh, it's not done fueling yet. Oh my damn, where did he come from? He was behind you. He was following you. Since the thing gives you adrenaline speed, it increases your pickup speed and other things like that. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Oh no. Fuck you. Someone has a bio mom. Well, don't want. Okay. Yeah, I just used it to speed boost my healing. Yeah, that is really silly. It makes sense, like, just from a functional perspective. Restart the healing. Oh, oh, I have to spend a, a 10 second. Don't puke on me. Do not puke on me. I think oh, I hear tank music. Plane's ready. Oh, is it? Good. Oh, it's making the plane ready noises. <laughs> you jackass. <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> I wasn't aiming for you. Oh, I phased for the plane. But I saved our new Adidas sneakers. Thank goodness. If I found sneakers that let me do that, those would be the most treasured possession in any zombie park. Oh, look at him go. Oh, no. Look at him go. Okay, that was a different campaign. I don't know what those red dots are. I really have no idea. It's part of the landing strip. The runway. Oh. Um, Remember, there's lights on the ends. Somehow nobody died. One hour and 13 minutes. That's so much. And that's without, like, restarts or really... This is, that's knowing where to go. We were a little bit slow at certain parts, but yeah. Where's where's the tanks killed? I gotta know how many of those <laughs> damn things we fought. Seven tanks. Seven. We killed seven tanks. Uh, there's a couple... There's and at least one we f didn't kill. Yeah, there's multiple tanks that we didn't kill. Somehow I took the least damage. Anyway, uh, I can't say I would recommend this campaign. No, oh, absolutely not. not. 2,500 zombies, that's just entirely too many. I'm really not a fan of this. If someone ever talks to you about this campaign, and I don't know why he would, Simply refer him to this video, and he'll get the full experience without having to play it. Yes. If anyone ever talks to you about this campaign, shoot him. <laughs>